Now, today I want to ask you a question. Do you know God? I mean, do you really know God? If you know God, how do you treat the knowledge of God? Does it affect how you live and what you do? There are four truths that are mentioned in the first chapter of Romans. And as you learn about these four truths today, I want you to ask yourself, about each of these truths, have I treated the knowledge of God this way? The first truth is found in Romans 1, verses 18 through 20. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world. In the things that have been made, so they are without excuse. So, the knowledge of God has been revealed. How has it been revealed? It has been revealed through the creation. Now, have you ever looked around and looked at the mountains, the snow, or the animals in or around Denver and did not see God? We can look at the designs in nature and see that the knowledge of God has been revealed. And an example of this we can find in the woodpecker. The woodpecker has a design that is very unique to the woodpeckers. I am pretty sure that all of us have heard a woodpecker pecking on a tree. Now, the woodpecker is protected through the design that's given to it from damaging its brain um, by all the force that it puts out when it hits the tree with each peck. Now, this is accomplished by a piece of cartilage between its beak and its skull. Now, this clearly shows that the knowledge of God has been revealed. But it, this does not end with the design of the woodpecker. We can see that the knowledge of God is revealed in the tiniest things such as atoms and also the universe, the Milky Way galaxy. And we know that the knowledge of God has been revealed. And it has been revealed through creation. And we have no excuse of not knowing God. And because God has made all things. How have you treated this truth about the knowledge of God? That it has been revealed and that you have no excuse of not knowing God. Now, the second truth is found in Romans 1 verses 21 through 23. For although... They knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they did became futile in their thinking, and their foolish hearts were darkened, claiming to be wise, they became fools, and exchanged the glory for the immortal God for the images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. These unrighteous men exchanged the knowledge of God for something far less, 
For them, it was idols. They, they then turned, excuse me, by exchanging them, they put what they desired above what God desired. Now, when I think of honor, I think of the Japanese samurai. The samurai were brave warriors, but they had a code of honor that they lived and died for. They made sure, even if it cost their lives, that them and their family would not be dishonored. They were fully committed to the idea of honor. The idea of honor is something that was part of their lives. And they, they put honor before themselves. Now, when we give in to what we desire over what God desires, we're given in to our lust. And lust is not just like it was in this passage. Um, excuse me. Um, they gave over to their lust and exchanged something. I'm sorry, I'm misplaced on my where I was. Let me back up. They exchanged. I was jumping to the next point. Uh, they exchanged for what is less. Now, I, I jump to dishonoring God. But I want to return to exchanging God because it's important because we do this. And an example of this is two businessmen wanted a cottage in New York. And they found one for $300,000. But they also found a collection of paintings that were worth $30 million. And the previous seller of the house sold the house for what? Much less than what the house held. And today, we might not have idols as they did in this passage, but we do have idols that come in the form of weekends at camp, camping out or our kids' baseball games. When it takes precedence over the of God and Sunday worship. Now, have you have you exchanged the knowledge of God? Have you put something before? God. Now I do want to come to this idea of the knowledge of God can be dishonored. And this part is found in the next couple of verses. Verses 24 through 27. Therefore God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves because they exchanged the truth about God for lies and worshiped and serve the creature rather than the creator who blessed forever. Amen. For this reason, God gave them up to dishonorable passions for their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature. And then men likewise gave natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another. Men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in them themselves the due penalty of error. There, 
They gave in to their lust. And they dishonored their, the knowledge of God by doing so. Lust is not just sexual as this is used in this passage. Lust is an intense longing or craving for something. And when we give in to what we desire over what God desires for us to do, we're giving in to our lust. Like I mentioned, the samurai were dedicated to honor. We should be more fully dedicated to honor. This world is turning to a time where putting God first is going to possibly cost us more than what it has ever cost us before. We are in a time that is going to be possible that we could lose our life for putting God first, standing up for the honor of the knowledge of God. Have you ever dishonored the knowledge of God? The fourth truth about the knowledge of God is that it can be disregarded. Let's look at the verses 28 through 31. And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a debased mind to do what ought not to be done. They were filled with all manner of unrighteous, evil, covetousness, malice. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, maliciousness. They are gossips, slanders, haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless. They filled their lives with all types of evil practices. They disregarded the knowledge of God. Even though they had the knowledge of God, they disregarded it. Now, I know most of us here uh, want to disregard the speed limit on Yale. It's 30 miles per hour. And the speed limit is something that we, we periodically disregard. Sometimes it feels like it's, though it's 30, we want to go 40. Are we going to disregard the speed limit? When we disregard something like a speed limit, there is consequences. And for us, disregarding the speed limit, there is a speeding ticket. For disregarding the knowledge of God, the consequences is punishment with eternity in hell. Now, if we do not want to disregard the knowledge of God, we need to obey His commands and not disregard them. And we need to do them as he has designed. This comes down to the rows of men and women in the church. This comes down to marriage, divorce, and remarriage. This comes down to how the Lord's Supper is handled. And the list could go on. Everything that God commands us, we should not disregard, and we should do as it's designed. Now, I want to go to the next verse, though they know God's righteousness, sorry, the righteous decree that those who practice such things deserve to die, they not only do them, but give approval to them. Now, with these four truths, they disregarded they exchanged and dishonored the knowledge of God, even though they had the knowledge of God. They even approved of these evil actions. And because of that, 
They, it says that they deserve to die. We need to be careful to not be part of these actions or even have show any type of approval. This means when it comes down to people that are worshiping in a way that is displeasing to God or living in a marital state that is unpleasing to God. Have you dishonored, exchanged, or disregarded the knowledge of God? Because the knowledge of God has been revealed. And we should honor it, regard it, and never disregard it. Because we are without excuse. Go ahead, Mark. Mark.